Anna here. And then I'm going to conduct a training from 19th of June on the weekends <coughs> on inventory and procurement. It will be an evening batch for India and then it uh, caters to the needs of US as well as my Japanese participants. So 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday from 19th of June, the training starts. So it will be a very good foundation for you. And if especially if you're new to fusion, you will now learn a lot in this training now. It will be going approximately for two months now. So let me go and share my screen and then show you what exactly I'm going to have. <clears throat> so if you go there and then type my website, oraclenana.com slash INVPO. So oraclenana.com slash INVPO, it will not tell you everything about this training. Actually. So this training, <coughs> it will not tell you. So uh, it is a low cost training. There is a biggest advantage. You are going to pay only 5,000 rupees for this month. And then you can even click on the pay link and then you can pay via credit card, debit card or any international cards also. <clears throat> uh, you can even pay. So this uh, training is on inventory as well as uh, procurement actually. Procurement is covering all the six pillars. Procurement, self service procurement, supply portal sourcing, procurement contracts and supply qualification. And then to understand this, there is no prerequisite required. People are now trying to switch over from other ERP to this ERP or otherwise other domain to this domain. So they can very well understand. <coughs> so every day we'll be having uh, two sessions now. And then it will be on Saturdays and Sundays. <coughs> it starts on 19th. And then my expected duration is approximately two months. And then if you are an experienced person, you can go down and then have a look at the agenda. Actually. <coughs> I will be actually creating an enterprise for you. Uh, enterprise will be created uh, with the ledger legality, chart of accounts, everything. And then a skeleton financial structure will be created. And then once it is a, the CO is deployed, the ledger will be created. And then the ledger to legal assignments will be done. And then on the created structure, you're going to test up your uh, uh, inventory and procurement action. So we'll be creating a business unit. We'll be creating the jobs, <laughs> we'll be the department's positions, and then users also. I'll be having two, three users for hierarchical approval. So you can even, we'll be having it now, fine. And then I'll be assigning the respective roles. And then afterwards, I will now start the procurement setups as well as the inventory setups also. So once we're the setups, in the inventory, we'll be creating the facility ships, workday patterns, and then facility schedules. And then afterwards, item will be created in the PIM now. <clears throat> then afterwards, you will now look at the controls of serial lot, and then revision locator, and then uh, your uh, sub inventory and locator restrictions as well as middle status control. All the controls will be shown. And then you will now see the transfers. Now. So it will be having a transaction source, transaction type, account alias, submit transfers. The picking rule and movement request will be fully explained. It is equivalent to move orders of EBS actually. And then the ITD will also be explained. And then of course, you will be having an intro transfers of direct and interest. So in the replenishments, I'll be covering the min-max replenishment for a sub sourcing with the movement request, then for a supplier sourcing, and then for off sourcing. And then afterwards, we'll now have a, a min-max planning for a sub sourcing with the transfer orders also. So this will be with the movement request as well as transfer orders. And then we'll now see the accuracy of ABC and then cyclic accounting and physical inventory and then all the fundamentals will be covered. Then the procurement begins with the demonstration of what I will be failing to create a purchase requisition and then because the charge and variance accounts are missing. And then I'll now go there and then populate this account. So you'll be taught the TAD and TAB also, but how to do it now. Right? We'll be having a purchasing accounting in which uh, we will now see about how the asset item into expense supplementary and then vice versa will also be taught about how the charge account is hit actually. So as far as accounting is concerned, procurement is uh, uh, giving you a full idea. <clears throat> it will be uh, giving you the receipt accounting, the cost accounting, as well as the financial accounting. And then uh, the TAD and TAB also will be introduced to you. So you will know about how to set up the TAD and TAB. So that will be like this now. <clears throat> and then afterwards, the automation will be taught to you. The touchless buying will also be coming to you. Then afterwards, we will now begin with the inspection, direct standard and visible product, uh, uh, receiving actually, corrections, returns, substitutes are not etc. cetera, et cetera, everything will be done. So after having completed this, we will now go into the self service procurement of it now. So there we will be getting a BPA, <coughs> and then uh, we will now see about how exactly it is going to work upon now. So the complete self service procurement will be talked to you. The third pillar is sourcing, in which we will now create the RFQ, so the single stage RFQ, <coughs> two stage RFQ. And then finally, request for information, then a reverse auction. Right? All the four futures will be taught in here. Then the procurement contracts come in, we'll be introducing the procurement contracts. <clears throat> the complete setup will be taught to you. And then you will now get a, gain a very good knowledge on this procurement right? the, in the, what's called, in the procurement contracts. Mm -hmm. And then the fifth one is supplier qualification, how the supplier qualification is going to be set actually. So uh, we'll be creating the questions over here. And then a model will be created. 
then of course the new rule set will be created and then we'll now see about how to do this now fine so and then finally we'll now create an initiative and then uh, for a specific uh, one and then uh, we will now shortlist the suppliers using the supply qualification and similarly the supply portal is almost similar to what we have in ebus now fine so we'll be having uh, the send pay on receipt and then yes and creations everything will be taught on us now <clears throat> we'll be seeing what our facilities are available there so it's approximately 366 points and then uh, uh, the coverage you will now get a very strong footing actually you, you may not be going into a great depth but in fact what happens uh, the basics you will be very comfortable upon so if you are feeling comfortable and then if you want to have an introduction now if you are already an expert this training program may not be for you but this is uh, going to be very good for those who are beginning their uh, activity on fusion or if they have only a very uh, very small amount of knowledge then uh, they want to enhance the knowledge also to be very good because 5000 is not a big one so if you click on the page here for the fusion inventory pure training it will now take up to the next page this is a payment gateway actually so in this way you can you can even specify your uh, uh, name email id and then uh, other details now fine the phone the mobile number so once when that is specified it will now take you for payment actually <clears throat> So uh, it will now send you your name, your email ID, and then you give the phone number, and then click on next now. So once when you give one, it will be taking you to the next one now. So let me fill up. Nana dot app sixty. My mobile number will be now nine eight four nine eight six seven nine two four. So having filled up everything, you click on the next now. You now take it to the next screen now. Uh, so you can even uh, pay via UPI is actually if you are going to pay via UPI, you can do it, and then you can do it, and then there are plenty of payment options are available here: credit card, debit card, debit banking. So credit and debit cards can be even international cards. Net banking is there. You can even uh, some banks are offering you EMI and then balance pay later. NFT bank transfers also you can use. So one of them you can do it now. So you can even use the uh, scan and pay or, or with one of the methods you can do it now. So it is uh, powered by Insta Mojo actually. So you will now be able to. Pay quickly. There is no need for you to register your bank accounts and all. You can directly do it. <clears throat> so this will be definitely be a very worthwhile one. And then uh, it's a uh, five thousand. You can consider as an investment actually. <clears throat> so a good investment. And then uh, you are spending it for your uh, uh, education actually. So education spending is always worth. And then it will be giving you a career actually. That's the biggest advantage. And then uh, I am expecting at least hundred participants for this now. And then if you still have any questions, you can even contact me. The idea, the thing is what when we have more participants, they will also be sharing their knowledge. So whatever they know, I am asking them to also share now. So it will be uh, sometimes what happens? It will be a mutual discussion instead of a uh, monologue actually. So you will definitely gain a lot of things now. Fine. Hope to see you soon in my training. And then uh, starting on ninth February. <clears throat> so if you have any clarifications, you can even write to me at. Uh, Uh, nana dot app sixty at gmail dot com or otherwise you can even uh, uh, ring me on the WhatsApp or mobile nine eight four one eight six seven nine two four and then I will now clarify your questions. So I am regarded as one of the best trainers in the world actually. So my coverage is always in depth and then uh, uh, even though I say it's basic but it is beyond the basic. <clears throat> Hope to see you soon in my training now. Bye for now.